Hey guys, I'm Jamie. Welcome back or to my channel if you are new. Today's video is going to be my July reading wrap up. So it is the end of the month and you know what that means. It means reading wrap ups. So I will be showing you guys and telling you guys about all the books I read in July. I read 19 books this month. All of them were written by women, which is literally no surprise because that usually happens every month. Um, but I have a little bit of statistics in front of me, so I'm going to go off of those. I had 10 four stars this month, five three stars, one one star, and slash DNF, and three five star reads. So not that many five stars this month. Honestly, it was a kind of disappointing reading month for me, but I had a lot of four stars, so I feel like that kind of kind of makes up for it, kind of doesn't. Um, and then I had one DNF that I DNF'd at 30%. And I was really hoping that that book was gonna be good. Um, when I tell you guys about it, you guys can tell me if you've read it and if it might be worth me picking it up again. So moving on, I read five books, both physically and audio listening, physically following along and listening. And that's pretty big for me. I think this is my largest this year reading and like listening at the same time. Um, but the, all the S, all the rest I just listened to. And yeah. Moving on with the types of books I read. I read six fantasy, five mystery, one literary fiction, five romances, one nonfiction, and one historical fiction. And some of the books I read do like crossover categories, but I just put them in the, the category that I feel like is the biggest for the book. It might be different for you, but that's just how I did it. So let's just jump right in with the first book I read this month. The first book I read this month is the second in the Dangerous Damsels series. This is the second one. It's called The League of Gentlewomen Witches. I loved her first book and when I saw this one I actually bought both of them and I read this one by following along and listening to it. And if you are new to my channel, I listen to primary, primarily audiobooks because I have dyslexia and it would literally take me forever to read a physical book if I didn't have audio versions available so that is super awesome that there is. and. Also, if you're new here, I get most of my audiobooks from the library through the Libby app. So if you haven't checked out Libby for audiobooks and you have a library card, you should do that because they have tons of tons of audiobooks. So yeah. Back to the books that I've read. So this was the first book that I read this month. Um, it took me, I think, like a little over a day to read, maybe like two or three days. Um, and I really liked it. I really liked the first one. That one I gave five stars. This one I gave 4.5 stars and I recommend it if you like witches and a, like a little bit of this historical fiction um, and romance and definitely like she writes them like all like enemies but just the banter in these books is so good. Like I can't I can't explain it. It's, it's really good. So that's my first book I read. Hey guys, editing Jamie here. I realized that I completely forgot a book and that is The Murder of Mr. Wickham. And so I'm going to give you guys a little bit of my thoughts right here. I rated this book 4.4 4 stars um, and I really liked this book. It had a little bit of romance. The mystery was good. I love Jane Austen. So it was really cool to see all of her characters all together interacting. Um, Anyway, I thought it was really good. I gave it four stars. I definitely recommend if you like mysteries and you like Jane Austen because it combines those two elements really well. So yeah, that's my thoughts on that. Sorry that this is different, but I guess I missed it on my Goodreads when I was going through mine, but I was editing and I realized it. So I'm putting this clip in there. The second book I read this month was Hotel Magnifique. I don't know if that's how you say it, but I'll put it up here. Um, this book is about these two girls who start working in this magical hotel and it's very fantastical and 
it was really it was really good i wanted more from everything about it like i don't know if it's gonna be serious i don't think it is i think it's just a standalone but it was really well written and i would definitely read more of her work when she puts out more the third book i read this month um was my first non-fiction this month and i think my like second of the year and that is between two kingdoms a memoir of a life interrupted this book is about a well it's a true story so um this woman gets cancer and she's dealing with the before and after effects of that as well as how relationships change when you have to get cared for and um it was really good her her story is really powerful and it made me cry a whole bunch the fourth book i read this month was the no show by beth o'leary i love beth o'leary and um i got this again before i had listened to it so that i could follow along i can't remember their names but there's three different point of views and they've all been stood up on valentine's day and we get their perspectives of their relationship with this guy and i don't want to give like anything away but it was really good i gave it 4.5 stars just because um the flat share by beth o'leary is my all-time five star by her and so i always compare things to that but it was really good it was literally almost a five star like it made me cry like it is the ending is so good good and i love beth o'leary so if you haven't read anything by her go she deserves way more hype than she gets so go check this one out the next book i read is the secret of redgate farm and this is the sixth book in the nancy drew mystery series i have been trying to get through my nancy drew collection because my mom had them when she was little and she gave me her collection and i've been collecting the old versions ever since she gave me them because there's a little bit of gaps in her collection and i wanted to collect them all so that my children can read them eventually so this is the sixth book it was pretty good it was pretty average for a nancy drew mystery there wasn't anything super special about it so i gave it three stars the next book i read was because of Haley fam and if you don't know her i love her but she has started basically a book channel on her through her vlogging channel and i love her book videos i literally watch them the day they came out but she recommended this book and she gave it five stars and so i was like okay i have to read it and that is mary jane by jessica again i'm dyslexic i sorry i'm not gonna read their last names but it's mary jane and this book is about a girl who goes and nannies for this family and her family is super conservative and so she hasn't been exposed to a lot of things and it's a coming of age story and i thought it was great and i gave it 4.5 stars if i'm going into more detail with some books and not other books it's because I remember them more and a lot of these books kind of went like this because I read 19 books this month and I only remember my favorites and even then sometimes it's hard for me to put it into words but yeah I just wanted to give that little explanation so the next book I read this month is my first DNF and again if you have read this book and you think it's worth me revisiting I only got to 30% in the audiobook so it might get better i don't know i just wasn't invested in the characters and so i dnf'd it but that is juniper and thorn thorn i don't want to say it i think it's thorn um but i just i wasn't invested in the characters and i yeah i just didn't like it so i dnf'd it and i gave it one star i always give my dnfs like one or two stars depending on how far i got through the book and if i think that i would revisit it but this one I just I wasn't interested enough but let me know if it's like your favorite book and maybe I'll reread it the next book I have is a curious begin beginning and it's a Veronica Speedwell it's the first book in that series and I really liked this book I also read this book because of a book 
um, YouTuber. I'll put her channel up on the screen. Um, but she did um, Cozy Mysteries um, for a video and I love Cozy Mysteries. So I watched that video and found this book. And A Curious Beginning, um, it's a really good book. Count how many times I've said really good book. Um, but it definitely gave me everything I wanted in a cozy mystery. Like the banter was there and strong independent woman, which I loved. And how it was set and the mystery that we we're like finding is like a mystery about like who she is. And I love that um, in a mystery story, like finding out something about yourself. I really like that. So I gave that 4.5 stars as well. And the next book I read, I also have it in a physical copy, and that is The Clue in the Dairy. And this is the seventh book in the Nancy Drew Mystery series. Also, I love the old covers. I Anyway, I collect them, and I actually just got this one recently, right around the time that I was like in that order, so it was a great time to read it. But this one was surprisingly really good. It has Ned in it for the first time. I don't know if you've watched the Nancy Drew movie, but Ned is like a pretty big character in the movie. And so I was like waiting for him to be in the books. This is the first one he's in and it definitely elevated it in my mind because I love him. So that made it a four star read. The next book is Lovely War. And this is my only historical fiction that I read this month. I had been wanting to had been wanting to read this book for a really long time but I've never like gotten there I don't know if you guys are mood readers like me but it just sometimes even if I really want to read a book I like can't pick it up and this was one of them but I finally read it and I really enjoyed it I loved that it was told by the gods like point of view like Aphrodite and Hephaestus and Ares and Apollo like it was it was really good and I am a Percy Jackson kid so I really liked that in it and I gave that book 4.5 stars as well the next book is another fantasy and that is a conjuring of light and this is the third book in the shades of magic series and this I think is my second favorite but I have given them like all like basically five stars like I gave the first one five stars second one 4.5 and this one I gave five stars. I just love the characters in this and the world and the magic. It's just, it's really engaging and it's just so good. And also I like procrastinated finishing this book because I just didn't want it to end. And I will probably um, reread it every year. There's just some books that I have to reread all the time and these will probably be one of them. The next book I read was Float, and this is a Wattpad book. Book. Um, this one is set in Florida, which I really like reading books set in Florida because I can judge them really well um, because I live here. But this one was really good. It I feel like it gave good-ish representation to Florida, like um, the afternoon rainstorms and um, somebody not from Florida, like... Floridians, I feel like we all just like expect people to know how to swim and that's not like normal for everybody and so this girl is from Alaska and she comes to Florida to stay with her aunt for the summer because her parents are on these um, like scientific outings I'm gonna call them like scientific trips and she doesn't want to go with them anymore and her parents don't really want her there so she goes to Florida and this has a little bit of enemies i don't really like saying enemies in contemporary but they don't really get along at first and he teaches her how to swim and that was just super cute to me so i gave this book four stars and then this is a ya romance by the way back to fantasy i read book of night by holly black and i loved holly's black holly Black's um, Folk of the Air series, I think it's called, um, the Cruel Prince series, and I really liked those books, and so I started with her new book, and I know she has a backlist of books, so I'm going to also try to read those, 
but I read Book of the Night. I, it took me a really long time to get into this book, but once I did, I still am not sure if I like love it. I gave it three stars. I had some problems with it, but overall I thought that the story was really good. Like I was definitely invested in like what was going on and I definitely want the next book because the ending though. Keeping with the fantasy line, I read A Far Wilder Magic, or it's F-A-R, is it fair? A Fair Wilder Magic? I think it's far. Um, anyway, the sexic moment, but this book is, let's see if I can do this justice. This book is about like alchemy and a little bit of magic and very whimsical and I really liked it. I gave it four stars. I This book again took me a little bit to read. I think it was because I was on vacation and I was doing a lot of things and when I wanted to do something I wanted to watch Netflix instead. Um, so it took me a little bit to get into but I really liked the ending. I really liked the relationship in this book like I was really pulling for them the whole time which is something that I'm really interested in is like how they get together and I think that the author did a really good job with that and so I gave it four stars I thought it was a good fantasy a good YA fantasy the next book I read still fantasy but it was a follow-along and that is the prison healer I bought this book because of TikTok and everybody hyping it up on there. But I also had heard about it from, I think, a YouTuber before that. I don't remember which one. But I really like this book. Actually, I think I heard it from one TikToker in specific. So if I can find her, I will um, put her up on the screen. But I love her book recommendations and so she recommended this one and I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. So I actually bought it because I've really been getting into like following along with my audio books and so I thought this one would be a good one and it did not disappoint. The ending is so good. It does take a little bit to get in because there's a lot of world building but looking back, I think I just wasn't in the best headspace because again i read this one when i was on vacation so i was like busy doing other things but i loved the ending of this book i am currently reading the second one and loving it and i love the relationship in this book and they still haven't even like i don't want to spoil anything but the ending the reveals Am I telling you that I like was crying and like shocked at the same time? Yes, I was. It was fantastic. You should go read this. So good. I'll let you know how the other two books in the series are, but this one was so good. I gave it five stars. Somehow these got out of order, but I will try to find the place where this one go goes, but if not, I'll just stick it here. The next book is The Cul-de-Sac War. And I thought this book was super cute. There are next door neighbors that don't necessarily get along and they kind of prank each other a little bit. And I loved it. I gave it 3.5 stars. I don't know why I didn't give it four. I might change my rating, but it was really funny. It was really sweet. Um, it's a no spice romance if you like that. And yeah, it was really good. I gave it, anyway, I already said that. I gave it 3.5 stars. The next book after The Prison Healer was Shipped. This was a pretty a pretty good romance. I gave it three stars. Um, it is it again has no spice like the cul-de-sac war. Um, it was it was fine. It wasn't anything special, but it was good. The last book I read this month was Arsenic and Adoba. I really liked this book. Um, I loved the ending. The ending was my favorite part. It did, again, this was one of those slow beginning books, but the ending kind of redeemed it a little bit. I was going to give it two stars, but the ending bumped it up a star and I gave it three stars. 
that is all the books I read this month. Let me know your favorite book that you read this month in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.